for J.I. Burton. Number one is Trevor Culberson. Number two, Jacob Cannon. Number five, Jonah Cochran. Number ten, Lonnie Lindsay. Number eleven, Jordan May. Number twenty, Isaiah Kinsel. Number thirty-four, Mickey Culberson. Now at this time, I'd like to remind everyone, please do not stand and walk on the bleachers. We are going to turn the lights off. He didn't announce the starters, did he? Perfect timing on that. Uh, uh, we've just finished the introductions. The Burton Black Raiders dressed in black and with orange numbers out on the floor. Castlewood still huddled, but they'll be out there just a second. And we are about ready for the opening kickoff tip off. Also, would like to welcome uh, ARC TV to our broadcast tonight. Ernie Baco here on the camera, and of course, we'll do the audio. We're ready to tip off, so Merle, take it away. Bob Jeter tosses the ball, and uh, Norton's Lindsay jumps against, uh, uh, I think it was uh, Askew jumping. And Norton wins the tip into the backcourt. Castlewood opens in a zone, goes in the left corner to Cochran. Cochran jumps, shoots no good, but Norton with a rebound in the lane back outside. Down in the corner with it. Now bounces inside to Mikey Culberson, back outside to Trevor Culbertson. He tries to get it back into Mikey again, and it's knocked back out of there, out on the left wing or right wing. Rather, it goes to Cochran in the corner for Lindsay. And back outside to Culbertson, and he traveled. Uh, so Lin Lindsay starting tonight. He may be a senior there, Merle. Maybe so. And I don't think uh, Gavin Monk's dressed out here tonight. I'm not sure about Norton that. Norton presses. Castlewood gets it in easily and running the other way with it is Hunter Hicks. And he takes it all the way to the rim but can't get the shot to go. And Trevor Culbertson runs the other way with it, takes it all the way to the rim on the other end. Nobody stopped the ball, and Culbertson lays it in for a layup. Now here's Vance in the backcourt with it. And just a man-to-man -man press, and not a lot of uh, pressure on him as Lindsey backs off some. Vance gets it into the front court, leaves it out there for Owens. Owens into the corner to, to uh, Mullins, and Mullins back outside to Hicks. Hicks guarded by Trevor Col Culbertson, Norton in a, or Burton in a man-to-man. -man. Hicks drives around the screen, tries to get it inside to Stafford, and it's knocked away and stolen by Burton. Burton quickly into the front court. Co uh, Cochran drives inside, 
Little floater in front, no good, and the rebound pulled down by Stafford to Castlewood. Norton leads two to nothing here early. Outside to Owens. Owens on the dribble against Lindsay, drives inside, has his shot knocked away and picked up by Mikey Culbertson and they leave it for Trevor Culbertson in the backcourt. He brings it across. He drives down inside and dumps it low on the low block to Mikey Culbertson, puts a shot up in traffic, a lot of contact, no good. Put back up and in, good by Lonnie Lindsay. Norton leads four to nothing. Now here's a near steal in the backcourt, but finally controlled by Owens, and he'll bring it across against Lindsay. Uh, driving down along the baseline is uh, Mullins. He puts a shot up. It's no good over the rim. Had a good look at it. Couldn't get it to go. Culbertson runs the other way with it for Burton down in the corner to, to uh, Kinzer. His shot no good, but Burton with the rebound. Back out in the corner to the left-hander Cochran, and he jumps and shoots inside the arc. Good from about 14 or 15 feet, and timeout called by uh, it was a 30-second timeout called by Brian Summers of Castlewood with 5.24 to go in the first period. Norton with three quick baskets, and it's 6-0 Burton. Castlewood's had a couple of good looks at the bucket, but uh, haven't been able to get one in so far. And so Coach Summers took a quick timeout, tried to get something set up. I think it was probably a well-done timeout, Merle. Yeah, I think so. Castlewood looked like they were uh, executing pretty well, except that last time down they they kind of forced it, tried to force it in there to Stafford, and somebody got a hand on it. wasn't a good pass. But other than that, they've gotten shots at the basket. Can't get anything to go. This Burton team pretty quick, though, and they have a couple guys who can shoot the ball pretty well. So, yes, they do. Uh, Castlewood will have to play well to stay with them. They get it in in the backcourt under pressure, and then... Burton backs off after they get it in, and Owens will bring it across. He gets a screen from Stafford, takes it down the lane, shoots a little runner in traffic, and a whistle and a foul, and they say it was on the floor. He banked that one in, Jamie. It looked like maybe they were giving, going to give him the basket, but they said no, it was on the floor before he shot. Well, I don't necessarily agree with that call either. Not too sure about that myself. Fance will play it from the baseline for Castlewood, gets it into Stafford. Outside to Owens, back in the corner to Vance. Vance for three, no good. Mikey Culbertson with it into the front court quickly. Spins in the lane, gets in close and draws the foul. Wait and see who he calls that foul on, if we can keep up with him, Jamie. I don't think they put him on the board here. That last foul was on Mikey Culbertson. I think they got that one on the Horner Hicks. I believe that's right. We might try to keep up with those. They don't put them on the board here. Now here's a steal. As Hicks steals the inbounds pass, takes it the length of the court, lays it up and in with the left hand, and it's 6-2. Nice steal by Hicks. Culbertson with it to uh, Lenz. To, uh, ball went out in the corner to Kinzer, and he loses track of it. They battle for it in the lane. It goes out and bounds off Burton. It'll be Castlewood basketball. Nice recovery that time by Jacob Vance. Pass over the defense to uh, Hicks, and Hicks gets it to the front court easily. Looks for a screen from Stafford, tries to dribble around the screen, and loses, loses the ball, picked up by Conklin, and a whistle and a foul. And they got that one on uh, Mullins. His first. Dylan Mullins committed that foul. It's his first team second. Burton will have the ball. They take their time against the Castlewood zone now. Mikey Col or Trevor Culberson with it on the outside, the end of the corner to Cochran. He tries to drive the baseline, gets cut off down there, and has to get it back outside. Culberson down in the lane, kicks it all the way across in the left corner, the right corner to uh, Cochran. The left-hander shoots, no good. Castlewood with the rebound. Here comes Owens the other way. To Vance in the corner, he drives into the paint. And gets a lot of contact, puts a shot up in the run, shot off of the backboard, rims around and in for Vance, and he'll have a chance for a three-point play. That could cut the lead to six to five. Neither team burning it up from the floor now. That Jamie. foul called on Lonnie Lindsay. Jacob Vance at the line. 
Misses the free throw, battle forward, and recovered in long throw. Bass with a long three-pointer. Misses, and Burton with the rebound. Went out in the corner to uh, Hicks, and he got it to Vance, but Vance couldn't connect on the three-pointer. Burton the other way, down in the lane to the big guy, Mikey Culbertson. He kicks it out in the corner to Cochran. Try to, Cochran tries to get it to the low block and knocked away the castle wheel, but picked up by Cochran. Puts a shot up, no good, and Stafford clears the ball for Castlewood, good defense in there on the interior by Stafford. Hicks with it on the outside for Castlewood now. Goes around the screen, tries to get it back to Stafford. Does so, Stafford down the lane, banks it home, and we're tied up at six alls. Castlewood comes back from six nothing, six straight for Castlewood. Good give and go that time. There's a near steal out on the wing by Owens. Uh, lazy pass by. Trevor Culbertson for Lindsay, and now Lindsay going to be placed in the lineup by Mabe. Dalton Fields in there for Stafford. Jordan Mabe. Mabe gets it in to Trevor. Trevor down the lane gets around the man, dumps it low for uh, the new man or for Lindsay coming in there, and he banks it home and got a good look at it that time. Here comes Owens the other way, all the way to the rim on the other end, no good. And battle for the rebound that Cochran comes away with it, tries to dribble out of there and loses it momentarily, picked up by Mikey Culbertson. Ahead to Trevor, down in the corner to Mabe. Mabe short, sh shot short. Rebound put back up there by uh, Dalton Fields. Lindsay. Was, was that Lindsay? Dalton Lindsay. Fields with the rebound. Now Lindsay put the shot up inside and Dalton Fields comes away with the rebound. Lindsay had a good look at it and couldn't get it to go after Mabe missed it. Didn't even draw iron. Now here's Vance down the middle with it, puts up a shot, it rolls around, but won't go good. And the battle for the rebound goes out in the corner, finally going off Hunter Hicks out of bounds. 2-14 left first quarter, 8-6, Burton leads it. We've got a spirited contest, both teams going up and down the floor. Trevor, uh, I'll refer to the Culbertsons as Trevor and Mikey. Trevor with it to Cochran on the wing, down in the corner to Lindsay, back outside. Across the long pass into the corner to May, back outside to Trevor. And Castlewood doing a pretty good job of extending that zone, leaving the middle open a little bit. If, if Burton wanted to work the middle, Cochran on the right wing with it. He gets double teamed in the corner to Lindsay down inside to Mikey. He puts the shot up, no good, overshot the rim. Good defense, rebound Castlewood, long pass ahead to Fields, and he lays it up and in good ahead of May. Nice pass from Castlewood. Not sure who made that, Hicks or, or Vance. I think it was Vance made that pass. Norton goes in the middle to Mikey Culbertson. He gets in close and banks it home. He's a wide body in there and hard to handle down the inside. 10-9 or 10-8, uh, Burton. Now here's a drive inside by Owens and he can't connect. Somebody got a hand on that one in traffic. Here comes Mikey. And Trevor the other way. Trevor into the corner to Cochran. Cochran along the baseline, loses control of it, picks it up, throws it out, headed for the ring, tried to get it to Mabe and threw it right by Mabe out of his reach, goes out of bounds to Castlewood. Burton leads 10-8 with just under a minute to go in the first period. Burton in a man-to-man, -man. Castlewood running his own all the time here in the first quarter. And uh, Hicks with the ball on the outside, gets a pick from Fields. Goes around the pick, gets inside, gets cut off out in the corner. Goes back to Vance. Vance gets it to Fields. Fields drives inside and puts up a shot, kind of a wild shot, no good. Rebounded in there by Spriggs, who's in the game for Burton. Trevor the other way into the corner to Cochran. The left-hander lets go for three. It's good. Three-pointer out of the corner for Burton. Cochran hitting it, it's 13-8, Burton with 15 seconds to go. And Hicks taking his time getting across, eight seconds to go, looks for a screen and gets it back outside to uh, Mullins. Mullins drives down the lane, puts up a long shot off of the glass that won't go with the buzzer. And we'll go to the second quarter with Burton leading Castlewood, 13-8. We'll be back here listening to High school basketball on WXLZ 107.3. With a late surge, uh, thanks to a three-pointer there for, from Cochran, 
up 13 to 8 as we get ready for second quarter action. It'll be Castlewood basketball. Castlewood with Hicks, Vance, Owens, Fields, and uh, Mullins on the court. And Hicks loses it on the outside, taking away and throwing ahead to Cochran, who lays it in ahead of everybody. Easy bucket for Burton. And Hicks got in trouble on the sideline, getting trapped. 15 8, Burton. Burton extending the pressure now. Goes down inside to Vance. Vance to Fields. Fields in close as his shot blocked and controlled in there by Spriggs ahead to Trevor. Trevor into the corner to Cochran. He dribbles inside, kicks it back out in the corner to, uh, that was uh, Buchanan. Buchanan. Down. He misses the three out of the corner and Castlewood comes away with it. Owens into the front court to, to uh, Hicks, Hicks to Fields, Fields back to Hicks inside, and he has his shot blocked and taken away by Burton. I think it was uh, Trevor that got that one. Trevor got him, yeah. He was into the front court with it and gets it down low for Mabe. Mabe dribbles back out there, now back inside to Spriggs. Spriggs shoots it in close. Battle for the rebound and a whistle and a foul called on Spriggs over the back of Vance. That's his first foul, third team foul on Burton. So Castlewood will throw it in from the baseline. 6.50 left here in the second quarter. 15 to eight, Burton with the lead. Burton with a three quarter court trap, trying to trap out in the middle of the court. Castlewood gets it across to Vance and now Burton backs off into man to man. Vance tries to dribble around Trevor, he can't get by him. Gets in trouble and pulls it back out to uh, the right wing, Mullins gets it to the wing to uh, to Hicks. Hicks to inside the fields. Fields in trouble, hasn't knocked away, but he bounces it off of the leg of Spriggs. Out of bounds to Castlewood. Shane Askew goes to the scorer's table for Castlewood. Castlewood gets it in to Mullins. Mullins for three from outside. No good, and coming away with the rebound Cass as Burton. Trevor drives down the inside, kicks it out on the left corner to Mabe. Mabe for three, and it's good. 15-8, Burton with six minutes to go in the second period. Burton still in this pressure. They get it across to Hicks. Hicks to Vance, back out on the wing to Owens. Owens drives inside, kicks it on the right wing. To Mullins, Mullins for three, no good again. Battle for the rebound, picked up in there by Owens. Owens out in the corner for three, no good. And Trevor Culbertson with a rebound, and he takes it the other way. Castlewood not getting very good shots now, but Burton yeah, throws it away. Pass picked off by Owens. He gets it to Hicks. Hicks drives inside, gets a good look at it, can't make it go. And Vance with the rebound, pulls it back out of there for Castlewood. Vance out on the wing, dribbling against Trevor Culbertson, and now draws the foul from Trevor. Is that the second foul on Culbertson? Shane Askew, that's the first, I think, on Is him. It? Not sure they don't put them on the board. Well, yeah, they're, 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 they're on one, one of you, and I didn't see it. Fourth team foul against uh, Burton. Shane Askew into the game, gets it inbounds to Owens. Owens drives inside and has his shot partially blocked by Spriggs, but they call the foul on Spriggs. It's going to be two on him. 5.15 left here, first half. 18 to eight, Castlewood, or Burton with a 10 point lead. Owens was shooting, so he'll shoot two. First shot's on the way, it's up and good. He'll get one more. Makes it 18 to nine now. See if Castlewood can battle back here. Jay. Owens ready at the line and he makes a pair. So that cuts the lead to eight. And Castlewood extending that zone press now. We're doing a 1-3-1 one, one zone. Three-quarter court and have a lob it ahead to Spriggs. And Spriggs lays it up and in. And it's foul from behind by uh, Shane Askew. Shane's first foul and Spriggs will have a chance for a three-point play. That was a really good pass, Merle. I'm not sure who made it. I think it was Trevor Culbertson. But he, he threaded the needle from half court and free throws up no good and Vance down with the rebound for Castlewood. Burton backs off into the half court defense playing man to man now in the half court. 
Kessel it into the corner to Fields. Tries to get inside, kicks it across the lane to, uh, that's Askew, and he puts it up and in, rolls around the rim, but goes in. Nice, nice play, tough shot by Askew. Castlewood trying to pressure now. There's uh, Lindsey, or uh, Kinzer back in the game. He gets it across court to Mabe. Mabe on the wing now. Castlewood in a zone. Back outside to Trevor. Trevor to the right wing to Kinzer. Back out, they swing it around in the corner to uh, May back out top to Trevor. Trevor for three, good. Trevor Culbertson with a three-pointer, and it's 23-12. Burton has opened up an 11-point lead. Castlewood in the backcourt, almost stolen by Trevor Culbertson, but Hicks gets it inside, kicks it out in the corner. To ask you, ask you down inside. Vance had one in close and didn't realize there wasn't anybody there. He pulled it back out. Vance on the dribble outside. Tries to get a screen, kicks it in the corner to, uh, out in the left corner it goes to Hicks. Hicks shot no good, rebound pulled down by Kinzer and ahead to Trevor. Trevor quickly into the front court. Back outside to Kinzer. Kinzer into the left corner to Mabe. Mabe pulls it back out. Trying to work against the zone. Now Trevor holds it out there. 325 and counting here now in the second quarter. Back to Mabe. Looking like they may want to try to pull Castlewood out farther out of the zone. Mabe kicks it across to Trevor, way on the outside, guarded by Hicks now. Gets it in the corner to Kinzer. Kinzer for three, no good. Vance up high for the rebound, and he'll bring it down himself. Picked up by Mabe. Vance out top to Hicks, Hicks all the way into the corner to Shane Askew. Down the inside it goes to Owens. Gets a good look, but he can't get the shot to go. And a whistle. Timeout. Burton wants a timeout as they got that rebound. It'll be a 30-second timeout. We'll say here it's 23-12. Burton leading with 2.51 to go in the second period. A reminder, uh, this is our last regular season game. Uh, Next week, the tournament start. We're not sure what those schedules will be, but uh, hopefully, d big pardon. Okay, Abington and John Battle on Friday. Okay, thank you, Thomas. Anyway, we'll cover some tournaments. We're not sure of who or where, but uh, we'll try to get that information on the air, and uh, hopefully you'll tune us in. 23-12, Burton by 11 here with 2.50 left in the first half. Burton will have the ball coming out of the timeout. Castlewood comes back with uh, Hicks, Vance, Askew, Stafford back in the game now, along with Owens. Castlewood's going to pressure three-quarter court trap, kind of a 1-3-1. Burton gets it in to Cochran. Cochran all the way across court to Trevor. Trevor into the front court to Mikey. Mikey drives down inside, kicks it all the way out in the corner to Cochran. He can't get open for a shot. Goes back to Mikey out on the wing. He tries to get a pass across to Trevor. Gets it just out of the reach of the Castlewood player. Trevor with the shot in front of the rim. Can't get it in there and coming away with it to Stafford. Ahead to Owens. Owens putting the pressure on back out on the wing to Hicks. Hicks for three. No good, battle for the rebound, grabbed by Stafford. Out on the wing, he gets it back way outside to Hicks, and Hicks will set to play again. Burton in a man to man, Trevor guarding Hicks. Trevor to the right wing to Owens, who comes off the screen, but he's way out there. Now the way across to the left wing to Vance. Vance drives down in the lane, gets in close, puts up a floater, no good, got a good look at it, couldn't get it to go. Rebound, Burton, they got away with the fouls. Castlewood knocked it away there. Goes back outside to Askew, and he leaves it out there for Hicks. Hicks to the top of the circle on the dribble. Back outside to Owens. Owens real aggressive trying to get inside, but they can't get those shots to go. Back outside to Vance. Vance drives inside, puts up a runner inside, and he's fouled. Hit pretty hard there, he'll shoot too. Yeah, body. he got a pretty good block on him, but the foul was called. So Jacob Vance will go to the line. He'll be shooting a pair. So 
That Burton with their original starting lineup in there now. Fast first free throw hits the rim, bounces off. Castlewood really can't throw it in the ocean here, Merle. Yeah, they've had some really good looks of everything, just can't get the ball to go. Uh, that last foul was on Lonnie Lindsay. That's his second, and the 16th foul against Burton. And this is uh, Mullins coming back in for Shane Askew for Castlewood. Vance with one more three free throw. He's up and Batten bounces off, but Castlewood gets the rebound. <laughs> Mullins got in there. I don't know how he got in there. It's easy to get it. Gets it outside to, to Hicks. Hicks down inside to Stafford. His shot rims around, won't go in, and the rebound goes off Vance out of bounds. Vance didn't like the call, but looked like he hit it last. He might have thought he got fouled. Castlewood still in it. 1-3-1 one, one press with three three players lined up across at midcourt and Hicks back in the backcourt. Long pass ahead to Mikey Culbertson. He gets inside close and puts it up and doesn't get it to go. It won't go. Shot no good. And coming away with it, Castlewood. Owens, Owens ahead to Vance. Vance into the paint, kicks it out on the left wing in the corner to Hicks. And Hicks hits a jumper inside the three-point arc from about 15 feet, and it's 23-14. Castlewood trying to battle back. Comes Trevor the other way, down the corner to Cochran. Cochran with a runner on the baseline, no good. Pulled down by Stafford. Ahead, it goes to Mullins. Mullins all the way to the rim. He overshoots it, rebound grabbed by Vance. He puts it back up, and he's fouled in there by, uh, I think that was... Uh, that was Buchanan. Buchanan got the foul. Right. He'll shoot two. He was in the act of shooting after the rebound. Good rebounding by... So Vance will have two more free throws. Good rebounding by Jacob. First free throws up, and no good. He's missed, what, three in a row here, Mo. Yeah, they're really struggling. He's from the floor and from the free throw line. Games I've seen here this year, not too many of them, but he's been pretty deadly from the free throw line. Hey, looks good shooting it. He's a Everything pretty looks good, good shooter. Just not going in. That was short, but he gets a pretty roll on that one. It That's, goes in. That was a pretty good shot. Just hit on the front rim and bounced in. Now there's a double team in the right court to get it across to Kinzer. 30 Kinser seconds to, left, Merle. Kinzer to Trevor. Trevor back to Kinzer. Left wing to Cochran. Thinks about a three, but pulls it back out with 22 seconds to go. Back out to Trevor. Trevor under a five-second count. Trying to get away from it, and he does. He kicks it all the way across into the right corner to Cochran. Cochran's three gets a lot of rim rolls, but it won't go. And a rebound grabbed by Owens. Owens ahead to, to Mullins. Mullins out of the corner for three at the buzzer. No good, but he counted if it went. And we'll go to halftime. It's 23-15. J.I. Burton leading the Castlewood Blue Devils here at the half. We'll be back in a moment with some halftime comments you're listening to. High School Basketball on 107.3 WXLZ. 